Hey guys, it's me, Kristen here, and I'm wishing you all a very, very happy Wednesday. And since it's Wednesday, I'm here doing another video back in my studio. I don't know what this is. And I just figured I would come here and hang out with you guys and discuss something that is very important to my life. I hope you really liked last week's video. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check that out. I told a super cringy story about before my boyfriend Mike and I started dating. And yeah, so if you saw that, please raise your hand and let me know if you cringed because I did multiple times. Anyway, so I'm going to jump in very just into today's video because today is going to be a long one. So if long videos are not your thing, this might not be the video for you. If you like videos on collections, this might be the video for you. This is a video of my updated vinyl record collection. And I will link a card in one of these corners. I can never remember which one it is. I've been doing this for like 400 years at this point. Let's get into the box. So first and foremost is the latest record that I bought for my collection and the plastic is still on the record. So this is going to be brand new. This is Hollywood Undead, Swan Songs. This album I think was released in 2008. I had some trouble opening this vinyl, which is why you guys didn't see anything. It was just a quick jump cut. But we have the vinyl here, comes in this, oh, it's a two disc, or two record. I'm just going to show you one because it looks like they are exactly the same. Got the whole band here, when Deuce was still around. You guys remember when Deuce was still around? Heh. <laughs> anyway, I fell in love with Hollywood Undead back in 2011. My first favorite song by them is Everywhere I Go from this album. So when I saw that I had the opportunity to purchase this, oh, I pulled that trigger real quick. Oh, there's something else in here. This is probably the, yeah, this is the same artwork that is on the vinyl. And on the back, like we have with most records, we have the lyric sheet. We got all of these things. So let me ask this. Do you guys collect vinyl records? If you do not, why? Vinyls are coming back in style and I'm only purchasing albums that I really like from bands that I really like. So I'm not just going to be like, here's a vinyl for $20, I'm gonna buy it. I only want ones that I want. So if you do not collect vinyls, do you think it's a waste of time, money, storage? Why? Next in here is not a vinyl. This is my book thing that holds my resumes that I can't show you because it has my very personal information in it. The next vinyl in this box is one of my favorite records from Disturbed. This is Indestructible. I fell in love with Disturbed back in 2010 when I was 18 and I listened to this when I went on my cruise at that time, back when you can go on cruises and you're not stuck in a play. Anyway, this is the paper with the lyric sheet and some artwork. And let me pull out the vinyl itself. Woo! I think I'm going to mention my favorite song from every album just because I want to. I don't know, I'm trying to think. I don't want to just show you guys like this is this and this is that, go on to the next one. So I think my favorite song from this one would have to be The Night. The Night has been a song that I still play to this day and it is just such a good jam. Now, two quick things before I continue. Whatever order has been placed in this box is not any specific order. It's not an order that I received. It's not a favorites list. It's just whatever is next in the box. And I actually just ordered Disturbed's Immortalized album, which I should be getting shortly. So hopefully I get that soon, add that to my collection. But the next record in here is Lights Siberia Acoustic. This one comes with a story, so I love Lights. And she started releasing on vinyl and she was actually one of the first vinyls I've ever bought. So I was like, yes, absolute yes, I need this. And the only place I could find it was eBay for $50, which is way more than I ever want to spend on a vinyl, but I needed this for my collection. There are only two artists that I can think of at the moment that I would buy every single vinyl. So this is like Siberia Acoustic. I've seen Lights Live so many times. My favorite song of this vinyl, before, I can't get it back in the damn sleeve. My favorite song from this album is definitely the acoustic version of Flux and Flow. I love how her voice just, oh, it is so magical. And Flux and Flow was my favorite song off the original album as well. 
which I probably shouldn't have said because I'm going to dig that out at some point. Next one in here is Linkin Park Meteora. I'm pretty sure I got this maybe at like Barnes & Noble or wherever place else you can get vinyls. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What does the artwork look like? I'm out of the sleeve. This is why this is going to be a long one. A lot of these are the generic black vinyls. But I mean, it's Linkin Park Meteora, and I first heard this album when I was 14, little, little, tiny Kristen, and I was trying to get into harder music because I was emo. Next one is the tiny one. This is Fall Out Boy Save Rock and Roll. This is probably my only Fall Out Boy album because this is really the only, oh no, I think I have another one in here, actually, now that I'm, I have a large collection. Anyway, I got this album also at Barnes & Noble, I think, maybe. It is a tiny little record. It is red. I hate the paper sleeves. I can never get them back in right, and I'm struggling for like an hour. Got the lyric sheet. Nope, that's the artwork. <laughs> we got the lyric sheet. And let's see, is the other record? Yes, the other record does match. I have a lot of favorites on this one. The first song I heard from this vinyl was My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark. I love The Phoenix. I love Just One Yesterday, The Mighty Fall, Miss Missing You, Young Volcanoes. Like there's so many that I love. So if I have to pick one, we're gonna go with Just One Yesterday because it is on my on repeat on Spotify, so. We got another Lights Vinyl. This is Skin and Earth Acoustic. I actually adore the artwork that was done here. Everything is like red and shadowy. And... Is this a poster? No, okay. So, gorgeous picture of lights. Love her. Oh, it goes like this. <laughs> and then we have the full artwork. This album along with its predecessor, corresponds with a comic set that she did. I believe it was eight comics or 10 comics. The vinyl itself is kind of not my favorite color. It is like a pea soup green, but Lights is one of the artists that I would buy every vinyl, regardless of if I actually liked it or not. Favorite song of this one might have to be maybe Savage. Savage was one of my favorites from the original as well. Next, we got Gorillaz. This is The Now Now. Is it The Now Now or just, yeah, it's The Now Now. I almost forgot the name of the freaking album. This is when Ace was part of the band. We don't, we don't like Ace. We prefer Murdoch. Yes, yes, we do. Who cares about Ace? It's all about Murdoch. But anyway, artwork, again, like no one sees him. <laughs> and then we have the track listing on the back and the vinyl is your generic black with a pretty pink and black sticker logo in the middle. I actually don't know what that's called. My favorite song of this album is definitely Humility. It is the first song I heard, which actually got me into Gorillaz. So, love it. Next one is a little bit silly and cringy. We got the Lizzie McGuire movie vinyl. I only bought this because Hilary Duff is the other artist where I will buy every vinyl regardless. And I actually like two songs on this vinyl, which kind of goes against my principal, but whatever. You know, how many of you guys, did you guys see the Lizzie McGuire movie? I actually was not a fan of the show. I preferred her music, but the vinyl looks like a Pokeball. <laughs> Go Lizzie McGuire movie soundtrack. Anyway, we got a nice pink, almost red, mixed with the white. It's a pretty color. Um, if I had to pick my favorite song off of this album, I don't know, um, it has to be What Dreams Are Made Of. That is a classic song. Before I continue, I do want to shout out an Instagram page really quick. They are Bitchin' Vinyl. They have such an impressive vinyl record collection. They also collect rare CDs, rare cassette tapes. Their collection is incredible and they actually post a lot of vinyls, which inspire me to buy them right after I see that post definitely check out Bitch and Vinyl. And also, a lot of the pop artists that you're going to be seeing or have seen, I have bought on Urban Outfitters. They are selling vinyl records pretty much around $25 to $30 a pop. They're right now selling Korn's first album. And I'm like, Urban Outfitters is selling Korn? Like, what? Anyway, continuing on. The next one is Jimmy Eat World. This album 
is called Bleed American. It was released in 2001, but after the whole 9-11 thing, they changed this album to just be Jimmy Eat World. So it does technically have two names. But this is my favorite, favorite Jimmy Eat World album. My cousin was taking my sister and I to school for a couple weeks and she was playing the cassette in her car and I fell in love with this album so much, especially Sweetness. That is my all time favorite song from this album. Then and now, oh, it comes with a little <laughs> digital download card. <laughs> I got Spotify, I don't need no digital download. Anyway, my cousin used to play this album for us in the car to and from elementary school, us being my sister and I, and for I think my birthday one year, she gave me the cassette tape, and then later on in the future, I got the CD and now the final. So I don't think I have the cassette tape anymore. I mean, most of the time people don't really have cassettes. I still have a cassette player, and somewhere in the depths of the attic, I have a cassette recorder. Next one is another Linkin Park album. This is Hybrid Theory. Love Hybrid Theory. Chester, I miss Chester. R.I.P. Chester. Hybrid Theory, super rad. Love this album. I mean, how, how can you not? Like, I'm pretty sure that is like a prerequisite to life. Like, you have to like Hybrid Theory. Like, just, sorry, that's my opinion on it. Oh, I just noticed they have two different colored labels on this vinyl. Check that out. All right, favorite song. Oh God, it's oh, it's gotta be crawling. Just, it's crawling. Just. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. The reason I squeaked right there, there was this freaking video on either Newgrounds or Ebum's World where someone made like an animated Sonic the Hedgehog video thing and they had crawling in the background of that and I think Tails was like super emo or like gonna kill people or something. I don't know. Um, but I picked this up right after and I was like, that's funny. So anyway, next record is Sonic Adventure 2. This is my all time favorite game. I got this game, I think for my 12th birthday and religiously play it all the time. Like to an unhealthy level all the time. So we got screenshots of the most obnoxious theme song to the most obnoxious level in this game, City Escape. <laughs> I feel like this is a very like niche topic. Like people like, I, I don't care, but anyway comes with this kind of thick booklet. It, oh, hello, Sonic. Comes with this thick booklet. It has a bunch of lyrics, Japanese and English for different characters, different themes and stuff. Then this is the sleeve. It's blue with white. This. <laughs> and it's a black record with a blue sticker. I think there's a second vinyl in here. Let me find out. There is a second vinyl. This is a black sleeve. This is probably the shadow version where the other one was the sonic version. And this is a black vinyl with black and red logo. The next two come with a story. Mom, I love you. <laughs> the next album is Maroon 5 Songs About Jane. And it's partnered with Seether, Isolate, and Medicaid. Again, Mom, I love you. So for Christmas, I asked for this Seether album, Christmas of 2019, I think. And I did not get this Seether album. I got Maroon 5 songs about Jane. Now, I love Maroon 5. This is the song that played on the radio when I was in middle school. This is the one with Harder to Breathe, my favorite song on this album, by the way. She will be loved. This love. Like, everyone knows this album. And I opened this and I said, Mom, what is this? <laughs> she was like, you wanted it. And I said, no, I didn't. <laughs> so we don't know what happened, but I'm very happy to have this one in my collection because this is actually my favorite Maroon 5 album. This is the sleeve. It's got photos, lurks, or these special thanks. I think these are credits and special thanks, maybe. The vinyl itself, whoosh, is black with the red logo in the middle. And since I talked about it before, next up is Seether Isolate Medicaid. This is probably my all time favorite Seether album. Definitely my favorite is Nobody Praying For Me. Such a jam, I love that. So we got some photos. 
I got black vinyl, got some weaponry. Apparently you can't say the G word on YouTube, so weaponry. Next we have Ashley Simpson autobiography. I really hope that I Am Me and Bittersweet World are also released on vinyl because I will be getting those as well. But I got this album initially on CD way back when it came out in 2004. I was 12 going through that angst that we all go through. But I bought this one on Urban Outfitters. The color is a beautiful aqua with the standard album text in the middle. I don't know, is that a logo? Is that a sticker? What the hell? We do? I don't want to call it a sticker because that sounds like bad. My favorite song on this album back in 2004 was La La. Again, the heaviest song on the album. Now I would have to say I still love La La, but I really prefer Autobiography. That is just currently my favorite. Next one is a big ass box set. This is Light's Little Machines. This is actually my favorite Light's album of all time. I bought the collector's box. So let's open the box. So first we got the vinyl. We're going to look at the vinyl last, actually. Then it comes with some bonus stuff. Piece of cardboard. It comes with the lyric sheet, the special thank you with a really awesome edited photo of lights. It comes with the Little Machines logo stencil, which I did spray paint like the day I got it, just to say I did on a piece of paper. And it also comes with three totally, totally rad photos of lights. When I got this vinyl in 2014, I really wanted to hang these posters up in my room. And I said, you know, I'm 22. I should not hang posters of women in my room anymore. You know, that just, if I swung in that direction, that's one thing, but I do not, so. The vinyl itself is a really freaking red orange. She always has really interesting colors of vinyls. It's never like a boring color, like black, even though I'm pretty sure she has a black vinyl, which I've probably shown you at some point, but whatever. Next one is actually another Lights vinyl. This is Skin and Earth. This corresponds with the Skin and Earth Acoustic, which was released the year after. And like I said prior, it partners with a comic book series. So what you see in the back is actually drawn by lights since she did the comic book and she's pretty much portraying the main character in this album. So it's really interesting. It's fun to check out. It's not my favorite, but the vinyl is a nice bright red, which not only matches her hair, but the hair of the main character. I just realized I did not mention my favorite song on Little Machines, which is definitely Muscle Memory, and this one, my favorite, is Savage. Continuing on, we had another Sonic album. This is Sonic Adventure, the first in the series. This one, this is Perfect Chaos, the final boss. Um, Open Your Heart, definitely my favorite song. It's kind of hard to pick favorite songs on a video game soundtrack because it's a video game soundtrack, but just like Sonic Adventure 2 comes with a booklet. Ew, Big the Cat. No one likes Big the Cat. Damn. Oh. Anyway, it comes with a book where you can see lyrics in two languages. Final sleeve. It is white with a blue outline thing. <laughs> and the record is true blue, sonic blue, beautiful cobalt. Cobalt is my favorite kind of blue. It's all right, so in reverse, we have a blue background with a white thing. I'm just calling it thing. And we got a white vinyl with a blue logo in the middle. I bought both the Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 vinyls off Amazon because Amazon is taking over the world. We got another Gorillaz album. This is Gorillaz Demon Days. My sister bought me this for Christmas 2018. Demon Days is one of my other favorite vinyls. My favorite song is definitely Dare because it's coming up. It's Dare. So, we got the sleeve, we got 2D, we got Burdock, who is way cooler than Ace. We got the vinyl with 2D and Murdoch, who's cooler than Ace. And we got a second vinyl with Noodle and Russell. And I'm pretty sure the record is going to have a picture, yeah. A picture of Russell 
There's a lot of dog hair on this one. I wonder if this is the one I played right after my sister bought it for me and it's covered in dog hair. Great. Next, we got another Hillary album. I really hope her other three albums are released on vinyl as well, but I haven't gotten them yet and I haven't seen them yet, so who knows. Where were you guys back in 2003 when this album was released? I was 11 and I don't know, just surviving. The vinyl is a beautiful see-through aqua color with the off-white label in the middle. My favorite song back then was Party Up. My favorite song currently probably will be Metamorphosis, which is the title track on the album. And yes, I still listen to this because I can. Next one is Skillet. I do plan on buying other Skillet albums, but I haven't yet, and I, they're kind of difficult to find. So I got Skillet for Christmas 2020, and funny story, when I opened it, my dad was like, what the hell is a Skillet? Where's Pot and Pan? Because Skillet, you know, it's a cooking Skillet. So of course, everyone kind of makes that joke when I tell them the band's name. Mike made that joke. So this is Victorious. This is, I think, their latest album, if I'm not mistaken. Just a black vinyl, really cool logo in the center. Let's see, favorites, Love Legendary, You Ain't Ready, Victorious, This Is The Kingdom Is Meh, Save, God Save Me, Rise Up, Terrify The Dark, Never Going Back, Reach Anchor, Finish Line. If I had to pick one, uh, I mean, uh, Finish Line, keeps popping up on my on repeat on Spotify, so I'm going to have to say Finish Line is a favorite song. Next up, we got another pop princess from 2004. This is Lindsay Lohan's Speak. I did find Lindsay Lohan's second album a little more personal on Urban Outfitters. I did place the order. I just haven't received it yet, but this is an exact, I almost hit myself with it, an exact recreate. I can't have nice things. This is an exact recreation of the CD way back in 2004. I loved this album because it had a lot of heaviness to it. And again, I was really into like heavy, I'm still into heavy things, but now I have a more broad spectrum. So this vinyl is a see-through, beautiful magenta purple, just absolutely gorgeous. I would kill to dye my hair this color, you know. Almost 29, really can't do that. Or maybe I will. Maybe maybe for the freaking my 29th birthday, I'm going to dye my hair like blue. Like the whole head blue or something. I don't know, I just kind of thought of that. I realized there is some, oh, there's like a whole book in here. All right, we got the lyric sheet in here. Got some photos. I think, if I remember correctly, when I first had this album, my favorite song was Disconnected because, again, it's the heaviest one. Do I still listen to this? Yes, I do. I think my favorite would have to be Speak. That's a pretty good song. First is also a very good song, Rumors, you know. How many of you guys are cringing because I still listen to early 2000s pop? But I don't always listen to pop. Sometimes I want to go knee deep in my emo stage. This is my prized possession. This is my Chemical Romance Black Parade. Beautiful, my all-time favorite MCR album. So, so happy to have this. This, at the time, was my prized possession because it is a limited edition vinyl in a smoky gray color. I found this at a comic book store in Boston, maybe 2013. I was so excited and then I see these all over the place online now, so it's not that rare, but it is a three discs or two, two disc set, two disc set, I'm sorry. And then it has some lurks, some lurks, and we got more lurks. Gotta say, my favorite is definitely Welcome to the Black Parade. Like, how can not, that, that's also a prerequisite. Just like Hybrid Theory, you have to like Welcome to the Black Parade. If you don't, you are just not an MCR fan. It is that cut and dry. And while I said Welcome to the Black Parade is my favorite song, Disenchant, I just, I thought the track listing was here. It is not, it is just an image. Disenchanted is the song that always makes me feel choked up because it reminds me of being 15 and rebellious and in high school and all the friends that I had and the friends I didn't have and just, it just really makes me feel that one. Just 
good jam. My camera battery is flashing at me right now, so I don't know how much longer I can record. I do have a second battery charge, but let's plow through this. We got another Hilary Duff album. This is her Christmas album, which I actually never owned in CD. I just bought this because it's Hilary and want to hold on to her entire collection. So this is Santa Claus Lane. Again, bought it for the collection. Probably will never, ever, ever listen to this. I have heard this album before. I love the freaking design, though. It's gorgeous. I have heard this album before. It's, it's like, I don't, uh, Christmas albums. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite song, it would be, what is that one called? I don't even remember what it's called. What Christmas Should Be. It's just very, very light, very cute, very Christmassy, you know, got Christmas sounds in it, like jingle bells and shit. I don't freaking know. I'm like so out of Christmas because it's February. We're almost done here. The next one is Evanescence Fallen again, way back 2003. I thought it was 2004, I'm sorry. Way back in 2003, this album along with Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory and Meteora were both playing violently on the radio. Yes, uh, you guys reliving that with me? Are you guys reliving the angsty emo-ness of this? Oh no. Oh no, there's definitely glue dots here. That's not supposed to open like that, yay. Anyway, the vinyl is a smoky gray silvery. It's really pretty and it looks really nice with that blue. I love gray and blue, it's a great mix. Favorite song off this album? I mean, everyone is going to say Bring Me To Life. I actually don't like that song very much. My favorite song would have to be Everybody's Fool. I dedicated that to my ex best friend at the time or Going Under, because that's another super good jam. We got another Lights album. This is The Listening. When it was released in 2009, she did not release it on vinyl, but she did for its 10 year anniversary back in 2019. This is some artwork, some lyrics and credits. And of course, when she announced, got stuff on it. Of course, when she announced that she was releasing it, I pulled that trigger real quick. So the vinyl, again, she has really interesting colors. This is a, not like a mustard yellow, but kind of like a mustard yellow. And it has her original CD design in the middle. This is what the actual CD looked like. It had the purple with the yellow lines. It's really rad. My favorite song back then and now is still Savior. This is not my favorite Lights album. This is her first album. It's not my favorite, but I do still really like it. I really enjoy it. And Savior, I could listen to that for years. What is this? What is this? This is Linkin Park's Living Things. This is not my favorite album. There are only a few in here that I actually like. I didn't realize it opened like this. Oh, that's really funky. It's like, cool. I'm trying not to show you the reflection of the ring light. Oh, right, oh, right, oh, right. So we got some lyrics. I don't, it's okay if it's upside down. You guys aren't going to pause and read it. And the vinyl itself is your standard black vinyl, black label. Is that a label? Is it not a logo? Is it a label? Am I, have I been calling it a logo this whole time and it's a label? Oh, we got the, I think he goes like this. Yeah, we got the dude, the living things dude. And we got some super cool distorted photos of the band. Again, R.I.P. Chester. Favorite song on the album? There are actually a few. I love Lost in the Echo. That was the first one I heard from this album. In My Remains, super good. Burn It Down, Lies Great Misery, I'll Be Gone. Roads and Traveled. Okay, so there are more than half of the songs that I like. I didn't really notice that. I thought maybe there was three, but there's like seven. So if I had to pick a favorite, oh God, it all depends. Oh. If I'm angry, lies green misery. If I want to chill, lost in the echo. If I'm feeling backstabbed, burn it down. We got another Lights album. This is Midnight Machines, which is the acoustic sister to Little Machines. I love how she does an acoustic album after doing a pop album. I just think it's super rad and it's just such a, oh. Look at how beautiful. I know it's just clear. I know that. I have eyes. But it's so different to me. Again, the Little Machines logo, it's tough to see because of the light, but the Little Machines logo is in the middle. Um, but I don't know, clear? Anything other than black is like super cool to me. My favorite song on this album is still Muscle Memory, just as it was in the original Little Machines. I just, it's my favorite song. Can't help. See another Lights album in the box. We have three left. This is My Chemical Romance 
Three cheers for Sweet Revenge. This is the one with Helena. I'm not okay, ghost of you. Again, living, living, and keeping alive that angsty emo-ness. We got lyrics, very important. You wanna know what you're singing to, cause you cannot always understand Gerard Way. Cause he's like, nah. <laughs> Anyway, picture. Standard black vinyl, red label on one side, white on the other. My favorite song on this album, oh god, uh, maybe Ghost of You? I'm not okay. I don't know, there's so many good ones, it's so hard to pick a favorite. But since I've been doing that for every album, I will have to say, uh, oh god. Thank you for the venom. I never told you what I did. Oh, so many good ones. We're going to say the ghost of you. We're gonna say ghost of you. The story of a man, a woman, and the corpses of a thousand evil men. I don't know, I just saw that I was like, story of a man. This is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. And YouTube will now get me for copyright because I sang that song. Na na na. <laughs> Second to last is my last Lights album in my collection. This is the very first vinyl I've ever purchased, which is Lights' Siberia. It came with a set where you buy the vinyl, you bought the CD, you got a couple other bonus things which I think might be in here. Yes. One of them is her first single off this album is Toes. This is a photocopy of the actual original lyric sheet from when she was writing the song, which is super rad. We got the vinyl sleeve in here. This is another one of my favorite albums. Maybe not as much as Little Machines. That's just the heater. It, it likes to tap violently and make me feel like I'm being haunted. Anyway. That's really obnoxious. Can you please? Anyway. <laughs> red vinyl. Not as red as Skin and Earth. It's more of like a pink, pinkish red. Favorite song on this album is Flux and Flow, just like in the acoustic version, Flux and Flow, always my favorite. The final record. I have saved the most expensive, but also the most grandiose for last. And that is Linkin Park Hybrid Theory. Now, are you sitting there going, Kristen, you just said hybrid theory. Kristen, why do you have two hybrid theories? These are exactly the same. They're, they're clones of each other. They're, they're literally clones of each other. So what ha happened was, Linkin Park released a box set of the 20 year anniversary of Hybrid Theory. And yes, I spent 200 US American dollars on this huge box set, huge. And I'm going to share with you its contents. So this is going to be the really long part because there are a lot of things in here that I will show you. So you already saw Hybrid Theory. It's a clone of its other one. We have the Hybrid Theory. I think this is like the demo B-sides because there are songs in here like High Voltage, Carousel, Technique, Step Up, Part of Me. I've never heard of those songs. I mean, I've heard of High Voltage before, but not any of the others. So, very papery insert. We got black vinyl with like a symbol on the back. It's hard to see because of its reflective, reflectiveness. Oh, it's the Hybrid Theory EP. It said that on that piece of paper. I just didn't read it. Next, we have a super thick book. And this has some drawings, some album designs, pictures of the band, just kind of like where they were at the time. You know, just really interesting things. Then we have Reanimation. This is another album that I have had. Uh, my favorite song on this one is probably um, By Myself. The By Myself remix, super red, loved it. Looks like this comes in multiple vinyls as well, so I will show you because I don't want to, you know, skimp out on anything. Woo! Black. On black. On black. Black vinyl. The other vinyl is exactly the same, so I'm going to spare a couple seconds and not show you that. Next in this box, we got a very, very large poster of Mr. Bennington himself. It's really tough to see, but he's holding a microphone. It 
the first time I saw it, I'm like, is this an alien? Like, what is this? Uh, then we have some art designs. Things are coming out. Oh my god, there are things. Things are falling! The thing that fell on the floor is the Linkin Park Hybrid Theory Project Revolution All Access Pass. I so wish I could teleport and actually see them. I never saw them live. And yeah, I'm super sad about that. We got another picture of the artwork design. I guess maybe outtakes. I think this is a table of contents. It has just a handful of different things listed on here, track listings of different albums. We have in here a Linkin Park sampler cassette tape. It is One Step Closer and With You, just those two songs. I have a cassette player. I totally want to play this, but I don't know if I actually will. We got some CDs in this box. We got Linkin Park Forgotten Demos. All the CDs look exactly the same. So it's just a black CD. It's got the Linkin Park Hybrid Theory logo over there. And then at the bottom, it says Linkin Park and then Forgotten Demos. You know, obviously Forgotten Demos is different. You know, it's not the same. Reanimation. This might be a different reanimation. I don't know. But black CD, same, looks exactly the same. We got Linkin Park Project Revolution from 2002. This card from See Their Isolate Medicaid. I don't know how that got in here or where it, why, what it even is. I don't know, I'm just gonna go over there. We got a digital download to the 20 year anniversary of this album. I have Spotify, so I really don't use digital downloads. We have the Hybrid Theory CD, the full CD of Hybrid Theory. Again, prerequisite to life. We got Link Park, the Fillmore 2001, Rock AM, Ring 2001. I believe this is like a live show. I don't know. I feel like I should have done my homework before I did this video. Three more CDs and then we have completed the contents of this box and my box of vinyls. So we have Linkin Park B-Side Rarities. Again, the disc looks exactly the same, carefully, exactly the same as the others. Black, white labels, all that jazz. We have Linkin Park LPU Rarities. I don't know what that voice was, but handful of cool stuff. And lastly, I had to take a double take because I was like, does that say pancake? <laughs> or pancake? I don't know. This is Linkin Park frat party at the pancake festival. I don't know if that is an inappropriate word to say on YouTube or not. I don't know what that means exactly. So yeah, that is the full contents of this box. That is the full con contents of my vinyl cardboard box. And we have gone through this whole video, it probably took me like two hours to film, and this battery didn't die, so I'm going to spare this battery because it's probably going to die as I'm doing my outro. Do I know my camera or what? I was just saying it's probably going to die during my outro, and I took an inhale to start my outro, and it died! So, now I have a full battery, but anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video and hanging out with me. I love sharing different parts of my life. And my life is kind of normal, so anytime I get to show you something that's a little bit quirky, a little bit weird, something that just kind of expresses who I am as a person, I love doing videos like that. I just absolutely love that. If you like this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. The thumbs up is the easiest way to tell me, hey, Kristen, I like this video. Do more of these kind of videos, and I definitely will. I have a couple other collection videos that I've been storing in my head. Feel free to hit that red subscribe button, subscribe, hang out with me. I upload every single Wednesday. If you want, you can find me on Instagram. I am hanging out there at Naturally Venomous. Uh, you could also follow Skelly, who's the three foot skeleton who guards the back of my car. He's at Skelly Guards the Car. I'm leaving now, I'm starving, and I want to make something for dinner. So this is Kristen, and I hope I'll be seeing you guys next week. I don't know what next week's video is going to be yet. I haven't decided. I actually decided to just do this video as I'm driving home. So, I'm gonna go eat.